I was looking at a playboy the other day and I seen these beautiful girls from LA lying on the beach with hardly nothing on, looking real good, kinda soft and brown. I got 14 days, my vacation with pay, I'm going to drive to LA. So I went to get a tune-up from Jake Dupar in my 37 Betsy Coupe car. He picked up the hood and stuck in his head, then he listened to the motor and this is what he said. Old Betsy goes. And she order go. He said a new distributor is what she needs, so I told him to fix her and to give him my keys, and I told him to call me if something else went wrong. Next morning, Jake was on the telephone. He said, old Betsy goes. And she's supposed to go. Well, I told him he was wasting my vacation with pay, and Jake said it'd only be a couple more days because her starter froze up and her battery's dead and her headlights are leaking oil, he said. And old Betsy goes. Did she ever go? Then Jake called again in a couple of days, said old Betsy ain't never gonna get to L.A. cause her axle needs turning and her brakes are low, her generator smokes and her timing is slow, her crankshaft is cranky and her cam is jammed, her lifters are lifeless and her rods are rammed, she needs new plugs and a barrel of oil and I have to heat her block to make the radiator boil. Well, that's right, she'll never go. Well, I told Jake to quit after 14 days, and just before I hitchhiked out to L.A., I wrote him a check for what he'd done so far, but I got the last laugh on Jake Dupar, because that check will go, and it'll never go. You see, what I did was bounce one on old Jake. I'll be dead gum if that worm didn't have a nerve to stick me with an outrageous bill for what I thought was going to be minor repairs.